is who started his own company, Lay's Potato Chips. No Let one me, can fry just one. Let me ask you uh, this. Oh, we've Another got lots of these at our kids. house. For Animal kids? crackers, Animal right? Animal crackers. Why do you think the string is on there first? So it's like a little purse for the kids. Well, sure, that's the way little girls use it. But the string actually was because this was invented in 1902, and it was meant to hang on your Christmas tree as a gift for the kids. Back in the days when you could give a kid a gift of a box of cookies. <laughs> uh, they actually started in England a decade earlier, but the British only had five different animals in there. The genius of Nabisco was to put in 17 different animals and to put the cage uh, impression on the box. But something happened that no one expected after they m manufactured the cookies. They started getting letters in from parents that kids were eating the cookies in particular ways. What's the first thing you eat? What part of the oh, animal? I'd eat the head off. The head? Well, matter of fact, they found and I'd eat the feet days. off, and then I'd rip the arms off. That's exactly the sequence. Oh, As a well, matter of fact, it started, you. it started troubling parents. And several <laughs> psychologists have actually done studies, and they find that kids always eat the head, the back legs, uh -huh. the front legs, and then the body. I'm uh, completely <laughs> normal. Another one of my favorites, uh, Oreos. Uh -huh. This also was uh, Nabisco. They wanted to follow up animal crackers with another big thing. They really thought of something called Mother Goose Biscuits, little biscuits of Goldilocks, red, Little Red Riding Hood, and Cinderella. They made them, and they test marketed them, and they saw a bizarre thing happen. Little girls were biting the heads off Goldilocks and chewing the legs off Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> and little boys were stuffing Cinderella in their mouths, and they thought this looks too cannibalistic. So they right. dropped that, and they came up with a very simple cookie that does not look peculiar to eat, but tastes delicious. And it was called Oreo because it initially didn't have the top. It was uh, Oros is the Greek for mountain. It just had the chocolate bisc uh, biscuit bottom and a mountain of icing on the top. But that was presented a real problem when it came to packaging these things. Kind of a mess. So they squeezed the mountain down, put the top biscuit on, but they still called it Oreo from uh, Oros. Uh-huh. I'll be darned. So that's exactly how you do it. Yeah. All right. Hey, Melba dieting. Toast. This is actually named after a woman, an Australian soprano, Nellie Melba. Uh, every time she stayed in, <laughs> it's true, there's another, des another dessert, a dessert named after her, which is? Uh, peaches. Peach, peach, peach Melba. Melba. Every time she sang in England at Covent Garden, she stayed at the Savoy Hotel. The chef was a big opera buff, and he made her this elaborate peach dessert of vanilla ice cream, peaches, raspberry sauce. She ate so many of them, I'm not kidding. She really had to go on a diet, and she wanted nothing up, uh, for breakfast except toast with no butter, and she liked very thin toast. And he would let uh, bread get stale, slice it so he could slice it very thin and toast it. So we have two foods named after her, Melba so, toast and... So this really is Melba's toast. It's Melba's toast. All right. And finally, Fig Newtons. Uh, Fig Newtons, it was a man in the 1890s. What he really invented was a machine that could make the little pastry into which you could stuff anything you wanted. Mm -hmm. The company he worked for, their favorite product was, their most popular was, Fig Jam. So they decided to put it in, but they didn't have a product. They knew they wanted the name Fig in the product. And they asked employees to make suggestions. Most of the employees suggested Fig, Fig Charles, Fig Steve, Fig Betty, added their names. Uh -huh. A few suggested where they came from, Fig Boston. They didn't like any of them. And finally, one man who was from Newton, Massachusetts, suggested his